downs, good downs. To some, this may seem like hard work, but to these dogs, pulling a sled through a winter wonderland is play. Good downs, good downs. And their playground is an 11 and a half mile trek through Stillwater State Forest, just north of Whitefish, Montana. They are members of an extended family of dogs. Their patriarch is Jeff Olsimer, who's known as the Dog Man. First day of the rest of your life. If they're my kids, I probably should have had four legs. He's earned that title not only because he's been running dogs for four decades, but because he's rescued hundreds along the way. When I started in Colorado, all of my dogs were pound hounds and most of them were, well, you know, not husky. And I, I rehabilitated them and found them a home. So, and if they wanted to be part of the gang, well, God, I'd let them. Today, 130 dogs live with Jeff at Dog Sled Adventures and about a third of them are rescues. Here's Tug, he's one of my old lead dogs. That dog comes from an unwanted home. He's a great lead dog. Hey, Tug. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, bud. I go down to the pound and I see a dog that needs some direction in life and um, I know they can pull. They're all physically talented, but it's what's inside of them and I know what's inside of them. They just want to please their owner. And Annie and Oakley were the ones that were severely abused. They were scared of people. They'd shake like a leaf if you got near them. No, they're not huskies, but boy, can they pull. And then after they start working, and they become, they have a pride, and they want to get hooked up, and they want to show everybody what a great job they do and everything. It's, it's really fun to watch that turn over. The dog man spends most of his day out here in the yard, taking care of his kids. He feeds them by hand and offers a little praise and affection. You are good girl. It's relatively quiet in the yard most of the day until it's time for a run. Well, as soon as we start hooking up one dog, they're all going to say, no, me, me, me. They love to go. Jeff only runs the dogs if it's below 45 degrees, and the colder, the better. The best temperature for, for the dogs to run in is not the best temperature for the people, okay? Because between 25 and 35 below, they work the best. It's obvious these dogs thrive in this environment. Many live to be 15 to 20 years or longer. They live long because they eat well and they exercise right. They are not overworked, so each dog gets to work once a day here and we don't run them twice a day. A lot of dogs that I get out of an unwanted situation or out of the pound and stuff have never had a life. They've never been able to do something that they love to do. So giving them a job and a warm meal gives them a sense of purpose. A lot of people buy these very expensive dogs that were bred to do something and they never got to do it. So that's, you know, to me, it's a fulfilling thing to, to let them get to do what they want to do. 